Yo, what is up guys? This is the Triumph here. And before I even get into anything about this video, about this um, commentary, or this gameplay, I just wanted to give a huge thank you to Wicked Shrapnel for uh, uploading this and uh, doing this kind of series for his subscribers. I think it's really cool when the uh, big guys on YouTube can help out the, the little boys, the little kids. Um, and so I just, I really appreciate that, and uh, I really do appreciate everything that the uh, big guys do. So anyways, this is a 138-0 and on the map Meltdown. And um, in this gameplay, I'm actually using a different kill streak setup than most people would be using. I am a lower level in this gameplay, so I don't have the uh, Blackbird, Swarm, or the Puppies. So I'm using the uh, Lightning Strike, Lodestar, and the Vidal Warship. And I do go 138-0. and 0, And I think a big part of pulling off this Flawless was having the two unmanned kills. I mean, the two manned kill streaks. Uh, so I had to find a spot, lay down, and hide, and use those kill streaks, which I think helped because it wasn't leaving me vulnerable. I was uh, outside, and I mean, I was uh, hiding, and so it was hard for the enemies to find me since I had ghost on. And I think that really helped me get this flawless. I think maybe if I would have ran around uh, with the swarm and the dogs in the air, there would have been a bigger possibility of me uh, me dying. But so yeah, I think uh, it's a pretty good gameplay. My kill streaks go ham, but my class is the MP7 with the silencer and the fast mags. And what I always use on my submachine guns are silencer. I use silencer on every one of my submachine guns, and then I'll use either fast mags or extended mags, depending on the clip size. Now, um, for example, the PDW, I will always, always use fast mags because the clip size is big anyways. And um, some other guns like the MSMC or um, the Vector, I'll probably use a, a fa uh, extended mags because they do have a smaller clip size. But... One thing I don't really like about extended mags is the reload time is pretty slow, and with a submachine gun, you're running around and you really do want that a quick reload time in case you run because you're in the enemy spawn, and you don't wanna you don't wanna have to reload slow and die while you're reloading because that would be really unfortunate. And uh, you definitely want to get those those kill streaks, and dying is uh, not a very good thing. So, anyways, my secondary is the 5.7, which is pretty irrelevant in this gameplay, considering I don't even use it. Uh, I don't use the secondary at all, and I personally, I'm not a really fan of big fan of using secondaries. I never end up using them that much, anyways. So I'll normally use like six perks or something like that. But like I said in this gameplay, I wasn't a very high level, so I didn't have too many options. My perks were uh, Hardline and um, Hardline and something else. I did not have Ghost, so I think it might have been Hardline Flak Jacket or something like that. I'm sorry, I don't remember. Um, and I was using Toughness and Dexterity. Dexterity is probably one of my favorite perks in this game. Uh, I think it's really underrated, the, the uh, quick climbing time, because I can't tell you how many times I've died trying to climb over, like... Um, like walls and climb in windows and just uh, do stuff like that like flanking the enemies if if you crawl in there slowly they can turn around and just shoot you no big deal and it's really kinda sad because you work so hard to get over in their spawn and uh, get that flank route and you're so close to getting all those kills but you get killed climbing in the window because you don't have dexterity and uh, it's a pretty slow reload time uh, it's a pretty slow climb time so uh, yeah, that's I mean that's one problem I find with not using dexterity is that you tend to die a lot climbing in different objects. And I mean I I have to have dexterity on every one of my classes. I don't know about you guys, but dexterity is probably my favorite perk uh, right next to ghost. I have to use ghost on all my classes also. And um, one really nice perk setup I have recently started using is uh, ghost, hardline, uh, scavenger, and engineer now the reason I use engineer is because without flak jacket you can see shock charges and uh, so you don't you, you can see shock charges so you don't need tag mask because you can always see them and shoot them and then you uh, don't need flak jacket because you can see all the bouncing betties and claymores so it almost acts as two perks engineer does because uh, you don't need tag mask and you don't need a flak jacket so it's a really nice perk to use that's definitely another really underrated perk so I've been using that scavenger hard uh, hardline and ghost because ghost obviously keeps away from the UAV spam which actually isn't too bad anymore but you still do get those uh, UAVs called in and you don't want to die on your kill streaks to a you to a guy that's just camping around a corner because he knows you're coming uh, which is which is really um 
depressing whenever you die like that. So I prefer using Ghost and Hardline. As you all may know, it's a 20% decrease on how much it takes to get your kill streaks. So you can get your kill streaks much, much quicker with Hardline, which is a, a huge deal with the big kill streaks. I think it's like a four kill difference. Uh, you can get that swarm with four last kills, which is really big in this game because, um, you know, you can die quickly. And there's a lot of BS in this game, actually. So the less amount of uh, deaths or kills it takes to get your kill streak, the better. And um, so you see me not shoot that guy. I made a pretty good decision there because if I would have shot him, he probably would have came back for the revenge kill while I was in my load star and my VDAL warship. And uh, that would have that would have pissed me off. I'm already 100, and uh, I think I'm like on oh, 100. I'm in the 20s right now, so that would have been really pissed. I would have been really pissed off if I would have died. So uh, I think it was a good decision not to kill that guy. But anyways, yeah, guys, if you're uh, wanting any uh, tips for this map, what I would suggest you do is stay over on the left side and try not to go to that big, uh, the big kind of tower-looking thing. Because recently I've been using the left side of the map more, the left or the right side, whichever you prefer, the opposite one of the big tower. Um, because the more I go in the tower, the more I keep dying. Because there's a lot of little pillars in there that people like to hide in. And they like to camp in that little area. And you die a lot if you go in there. But on the left side or the right side, on the opposite side, I'll just say the opposite side. On the opposite side, uh, there's a lot more cover you can use. And not as many guys go down there. So it's easier to get into the enemy spawn by going that way. But anyways, guys, um, this gameplay is wrapping up. Huge thank you to Wicked Shrapnel for uh, uploading this to his channel. And uh, so, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed. This is The Triumph, and I'm out. Peace.